It's the end of the harvest season. The coffee trees look worn out with very little fruit left on the branches. Soon you'll have to prune the trees and get ready for next year's crop. But before you prune, you have to do the most important activity for controlling coffee berry borer, the end of season strip pick. This is where you'll remove all the fruit off the trees and take them out of the field. By strip picking at the end of the harvest season, you can greatly reduce the CBB population in your next crop. And starting the season with as low a CBB population as possible is key to making the most money from your harvest. How does that work? Well, if you don't strip pick your farm, you'll be leaving infested coffee in a number of potential homes for CBB to live in. CBB can take 21 to 54 days to develop into an adult. If there are berries and raisins left in the field, in the trees, or on the ground, they will continue to breed in them and increase in numbers. And by the time next season's berries develop, there will be dozens of CBB in each old berry, ready to infest new homes. So why not make it harder for them? If you physically remove their homes from the field, CBB will have no place to live or reproduce. When you're at the end of the harvest season, strip pick all remaining berries off the trees, leaving no fruit behind. This means all green berries, color break, ripe, overripe, and raisin coffee. And for farms with year-round flowering, strip pick all color break, ripe, overripe, and raisin coffee. This will help you start off your next season with lower populations and infestation rates. When strip picking, be careful to keep berries in the basket and not drop any on the ground. After all the berries and raisins are collected, process or destroy them to prevent reinfestation on your farm by either completely enclosing bags, buckets, or containers, or by burying, composting, or freezing CBB infested cherry. With no berries on the trees or on the ground, CBB will have a harder time establishing in your fields. This will help you to protect your next season's crop and have you ready to fight a much smaller battle against the beetle. For more information on how to control coffee berry borer, please visit hawaiicoffeeed.com or contact your nearest cooperative extension office.